It is day four at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It is the Alien Manufacturer Day. That means lots of manufacturers, four manufacturers. What we've got, Asperia, Banu, um, Apoa or Aapoa, and Gatak. That's, I believe, who we've got today. Um, there are lots of things going on. I want to have a quick look at all the ships. I don't e even know what all ships are going to be. It's just the, the central main hall here in the Apex Hall at the Open Convention Center. Um, downstairs, we've got the Banu Merchantman uh, in, as, a, as a little um, holographic model and the Gatak Rylan. Um, so I have a quick look through here. It will be a pretty quick one before we jump onto the website and see what's actually on sale. But it's going to be dominated by Whether that Banu Merchantman, I suspect. Uh, historical reverence. Let's play this. Though the expo attracts the latest innovations and technological wonders, Esperia is constantly paving the way forward with their reverence of the past. Preserving important historical craft and Xeno vehicles, Esperia defines space flight in entirely new ways by providing unique experiences that would otherwise be unavailable to modern pilots. Well, that's good to know. So, what have we got? So we've got Banu Defender, um, a long range escort fighter is the way I describe that, but in a sort of light to medium uh, hulled ship. I, I think it's very much a medium fighter. I think the game decides it's a light fighter. I think it's a long range escort fighter. We'll talk more about that in, in a bit. Um, not a massive fan of it, to be honest. Um, I think it's cool, but not a massive fan. Uh, we've got the blade over here. That's part of the sort of more up to date um, Vandal ships the blade. It, it is a human variant of it uh, that's made by Asperia. Um, probably worth a, a little fly because they're quite fun. Um, you've got the Apo. Xi'an. This is a Xi'an Kartu Al. I could not remember all of my Kartu Al words briefly. Um, so that's the that light Xi'an fighter. Uh, we've got the light Tavaran um, fighters here, the Talon and the Talon Shrike. So, the gun and missile variant, respectively. Um, you've got the Prowler. The Prowler is just a beautiful Tavaran ship. It is uh, that drop ship, um, sort of quite stealthy. I, I, I like the idea of it. Inside it's like a nest. It's all sort of like red and like the sun coming through is the idea. Um, very combat ready. Um, very cool um, drop ship if you're into that sort of thing and you want to run that. Um, what else have we got? We've got the glaive here. Now, the glaive, this is the old glaive, and we haven't seen the updated glaive properly in game yet. Um, so, looking forward to seeing the new updates to the scythe and the glaive. Um, we don't have a scythe on display, and they're not available to buy, I wouldn't think, either, because they're one of the more um, super rare ships. Oh, flyable diplomacy. Xi'an ships are becoming a more common sight across the UEE. But it wasn't too long ago that their sale was completely forbidden by the Xi'an Emperor. Now, thanks to a growing trade between our two species, Xi'an manufacturers like Gatak and Apoa are producing vehicles Ready specifically for humans to pilot. Even more promising, some new ships have been designed for human and Xi'an crew to serve alongside each other. That's one of the things with the Gatak Rylan. The Rylan is supposed to sort of like have um, room for both humans and Xi'an to, to pilot together. I, I really like the idea of it. Banu ships are sort of built for lots of races anyway because they have people aboard and, and all that sort of stuff. Well, not always, but a lot of the time. It's not uncommon for human manufacturers to offer unique features and designs to make their ships stand out from the crowd. But the Banu take a slightly different approach when it comes to crafting their vehicles heavily and this freely borrowing from each other Turbine and even other species. Banu ships are made by combining the best features and best technology they can get their hands on. Really like the idea of that as a uh, way that Banu make their ships. So they take the, the thrusters from some Xi'an tech and then they use the air shields and, and from the Tavar and, and things like that. I just, uh, yeah, I really like that idea and mishmash of lots of different species. Some of which maybe we've not met. So you've got the Nox bikes here. Uh, there's the Nox and the Nox Q. The Q is just a different coloured variant. Uh, but they are cool hover bikes. And in 3.16, we're potentially going to see an update to this hover tech um, to make it better for the game. Um, probably worth a rent. I mean, obviously, all these things that are flyable are rentable for free currently. 
Make sure you get into the expo today as well to get your alien um, spectrum badge for the forums. But uh, here we go. This, we've got obviously a lot of people want to see the Banu Merchantman hologram, but we've got the Gatak Rylan here, and the concepts and the pictures that they've got of it is uh, are probably actually a bit more detailed than the current sort of white box or um, hollow uh, model for it. Um, yeah, so lots of external alien cargo pods, basically. Um, long, long range freight, but sort of medium sized freight. Um, I think a lot of people are going to like it, but um, I th think if I'm going to do freight, I'm either going to do a Banu Merchman or going to be running a um, Liberator or a crack. I don't know. There's so many. There's so many choices based on exactly what you want to do. I do like this logo actually. It's very nice. And then we've got we've got your Banu, your Banu Merchantman. A lot of people will be like, ooh. So the Merchantman's gone through a few concepting sort of thoughts, um, and it is a trade bazaar. It is a, a market ship with shops on it, and uh, we are going to. Have a quick look at this model in a bit more detail. Uh, he says, uh, I'm going to float around here. You're going to see some weird camera angles. I do apologize. So, it's it's big. It's got a bit bigger um, since they were working on it more recently. They've done a load more concepts for the inside. They've started to build the outside in a, in a bit more um, in a bit more detail as well. And. Uh, yeah, you're going to be able to land this on planets and have people come and visit and um, basically buy stuff from your shops and then do like trade meetings and stuff. I think a lot of people are going to want to run this as their sort of like main ship if they want to go fully into trade and that sort of stuff. I think it's... Uh, I, I think the ship's going to be worth so much real money eventually. And I think it's like $550 now and started off at like 250 I think, you know, when it first went on sale. But it, it's one of those ships that and was actually introduced to Star Citizen very early on as a concept, and it still is not being built. Um, but, um, we'll talk more about that in a second, actually, because uh, we'll jump into the, the website and have a look at those, um, what actually values they are and what's available to purchase. But I do think this is going to be the big s seller today. Um, yeah, let's do that then. Let's go onto the website. So what have we got available on the website to purchase today? Are there any little sneaky bits, uh, any concepts, that sort of stuff? Um, so we've got the manufacturers for Banu, Asperia, Gatak, and uh, Apoa, or Apoa. Um, and uh, Gatak have got the Rylan, which is that new medium alien sort of transport ship. Um, I say new, it's relatively new, it's in concept still. Um, expect it to be in game in the not too distant future. Uh, $225 for that. Um, you've got the Alien Complete Pack as well. Um, that's pretty expensive. Um, is it... Am I on different manufacturers? Do I have to click on them? Is that what's going on? Yes, I do. I have to click on the different manufacturers. That makes a load more sense. So, a power. Um, we've got uh, the Katu Al, which is that light um, Xi'an fighter. Um, if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, they sort of, like, go for loads of... Uh, like thruster array, so it's very sort of mobile, um, sort of vertical and horizontal movement. Um, so it's going to be flying differently to a lot of other ships. Um, you've got the Nox, um, cool. Uh, and you've got the Santok Yai. Again, um, this is the Xi'an medium fighter and um, will fly a lot differently to other medium fighters. Um, it's got a lot more pew pew than the um, Kartu Al has. Santok Yai, I think it's going to be a good ship. You pay a little bit of extra money for sort of alien tax, um, it seems, but um, sort of bear that in mind. Um, you can get a car to owl with 10 years insurance. Um, as I said, there, there are the alien packs available. What else have we got? What have we got for the Banu? So I think a lot of people are going to be wanting to purchase the Banu ships today. Not the Banu Defender so much, um, although some people might like it. Um, it's in flyball in game now. It is, uh, it's deemed a light fighter. I would not classify the Banu Defender as a, uh, as a light fighter. It is a uh, long-range escort fighter, is how I would deem it. Um, I think uh, that's probably pretty accurate. But we've got the Banu Merchantman. So the Banu Merchantman is currently $550. I think, was it originally $250 and then went pretty quickly to $350? But now it's $550. I think the ship is going to settle somewhere between $750 
and $950 eventually when it's released. It is a big cargo slash m merchant market ship. So the idea here is that it's got um, sort of shops on board, which you can um, have um, sort of automated or have NPCs in that, that sell stuff, lots of different shops. Um, you can have a huge amount of cargo space and you've got sort of private trade rooms. There's a, a bay on it now for um, a defender to be able to um, fully dock with it. Uh, and then you can sort of, I think, rearm, repair and refuel it to some extent. Um, but that just makes it um, really great for servicing those ships. Um, and yeah, I, I really love the idea of the Merchman. I'm not sure if I love so much the current style of the sort of seashells, slightly nautical um, living theme for the Banu. I, I, I'll have to see how it develops, I think. Um, I sort of, I keep on going, do I like it? Do I not? I don't really know. But Banu Merchman, um, concept ship that a lot of people love, and I'm hoping that we see it at the end of next year, but we'll have to wait and see. Asperia. What have we got from Asperia? So, Asperia make things like um, they capture vandal ships uh, and then repurpose them, or they make replicas of them. Things like that, based on, on the on the ship in it that they're talking about. They suffer from huge amounts of um, sort of exotic alien um, uh, increases in price because they're supposed to be rare. So you've got the blade, um, light fighter, vandal light fighter, two hundred seventy five dollars is pretty expensive. You've got the glaive, which is their sort of medium fighter. But it's um, sort of high tier medium for the vandal. It's supposed to be. It's sort of, sort of be the, the veteran ship, whereas you ha also have the the scythe, which is less heavily armed. Um, got a prowler, so that is the uh, Tavaran sort of drop ship. Um, very cool, very stealthy, fantastic looking, very bird of prey, very sort of like um, predator looking. I, yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's a beautiful ship. $425, it's not cheap. Uh, we've got the Talon, which is uh, one of those Tavaran light fighters. So Talon, lots of, um, it's supposed to be like a dive attack craft, bam, 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 gets lots of shots in, um, gets out very, very lightly armoured, um, doesn't really want to be fighting very long. And then you've got the Shrike, which is a missile variant of that Talon. Um, and that is pretty much what we've got for today. Now, as I said, there is an alien pack for um, if you're a um, concierge member, if you're one of the Chairman's Club members, you have access to buy these ridiculously expensive packs with all the ships uh, from those manufacturers, be they flyable or not. Um, and then we've got uh, a lovely little collectible alien pin set too. And that's basically it for today when it comes to what's available in the shop. But I'd love to know, are you going to be buying yourself uh, an alien ship? A Banu Merchman. Do you already have multiple Banu Merchmans? I have lots of Banu Merchmans. I'm buying them for future giveaways. Um, but whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. It's November and that means, yes, you're right, it's Nord VPN season. All those delicious Nords are collected together to make the finest VPN that I shield for on my channel. Not only is Nord VPN delicious, but it also protects. Check out the links below to get fandastic discounts or go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Do you dream of being at the controls of your spaceship in real life? Well, now you sort of can with Game Glass. It turns touchscreen devices into diegetic controllers for Star Citizen, and you can get the basic software free. Check it out in the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway as well. This time it's for a Mercury Star Runner, a multi crew ship that will let you do a bit of everything in game now. Or at least most things, lots of things, lots of things in game now. In the future, it might allow you to do smuggling and data running too. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos during November. More details down below. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider clicking the join or thanks button under my videos or even becoming a Patreon. You get some cool stuff to show that you're a true supporter of mine and Zin's art, some exclusive polls, ways of shaping the channel, some exclusive videos, all that sort of jazz too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the verse.